Hello, this is Dale. In this video, what I want to do is talk about saving a credit spread loss from something catastrophic. And one of the things uh, people say about credit spreads is, yeah, you can win 70% uh, of the time, but when you have a loss, it could wipe out those seven gains. Uh, you need to protect against that. And one of the things I want to do in this video is show you how to put your trading in delta neutral and protect and defend your credit spread using a protective put or call. This is something that I teach my members to use the protective put, especially if you've you've got a larger portfolio and you see that uh, an, an index like the S&P 500, the SPX is weakening and you want to protect your large portfolio from drawdowns. One of the ways to do that is rather than getting out of your positions is to buy a number of puts at the money to serve as protection against that drop. As your portfolio drops in value, the put increases in value. So you're basically putting your portfolio in neutral until the market turns around and then you can take off your protect protection and off you go. This is a great way of trading long-term to protect against the drawdowns that happen about seven times a year. Some of them are only five to 10%, some of them are 20 to 25%. You need, you never know when the big one's gonna hit and you wanna protect that portfolio. You've worked hard for that portfolio. And basically, if you've got a, a portfolio of a certain size, you're basically gonna put that in neutral, just watch the market drop, and then you're gonna start reinvesting down when the market turns around with the portfolio of the same size. I like credit spreads. This is where I do most of my short-term trading using credit spreads. I've been teaching this and publicly releasing my alerts for greater than 12 years at www.optionsinfinity.com. I'm the head trader, I'm the founder, and uh, I think this is the best option education website available today. I wanna show you this example on the video uh, where we got into a credit spread right here. You can see we set up the, uh, uh, this was set up the, I think we had the 8, 8 March, um, and it was, we sold the 820 and bought the 825 for protection. And the market was going down in NVIDIA, and uh, we were doing just fine. And then all of a sudden, we had uh, an upward movement in not only momentum, but the moving averages and what I call a measured move, which is a higher high. That's a good time to either exit your trade or put on a protective call just in case the market continues to go higher. Looking at my notes here, we started on February 28th with an 8 March 2025 sold in a 2020, excuse me, it was a 2020 eight, <laughs> 820 call and then an 825 call further out of the money. We got 95 cents credit for that, which is a nice credit. Now I want to talk about five contracts on that, on that um, trade for NVIDIA. 95 
cents or there's 100 share per contract, $95 per contract times five contracts is the, the maximum we could make is $475. That is if it goes all the way to expiration and uh, your options uh, expire, uh, um, basically you're going to you're going to get that credit. That credit will come to you. Therefore, the maximum loss is not 2,500. It's 2,500 minus the credit that you receive. Okay. The next day, the next day we get a gap, and then a measured move higher. So what I want to do at that point, it's only been, the trade's only been on for two days. I'd like to see the trade evolve a little bit. I didn't want to take this trade off, but I, I saw clear signals that this trade was in trouble because we were now, we had momentum, we had the moving averages, and we had a measured move all signaling to the upside. So what I did is I bought a protective put. A rule of thumb, one protective call or put per five contracts at the money. That will give you a delta neutral position. Therefore, the position that you're in right here, which might be a profit, it might be a minimal loss, but you see the market going against you and you just want to protect yourself because you're not sure. It could go straight up and you want to protect yourself against that. So what you do is you buy an 8 March, the same, the same uh, uh, expiration, the 800 call. Now that call was $18. A lot of people say, wow, that's pretty expensive. But think about that. It's as, as the price of your credit spread goes down, the, the price of that option is going to go up. This is, this is a mechanism to, to place your trade in a neutral position. Now, a lot of times it will come up and not, not go through the short strike, and then you're okay. You just, you just can take, if it turns around like that, you can take that protective call off and let this go all the way to expiration and, and grab all that credit. But there are times where it busts right through, and this was an example of when it busted right through. Your, your decision is to, do I want to get out at this point, or do I want to stay in and let that call help me out? Well, the maximum I can lose here is 2,500. That, that option that we bought, the 800 call for $18 out here, right here, was worth $61.90. So that means you have, on the call, you have profited 61, $6,190 minus what you bought it for, or you've made a profit of $4,090. At the same time, you've had a loss of your credit spread of $2,025, or you've made a little over $2,000 by putting on protection and putting your trade into neutral. If it busts through like this, you're going to take advantage of the profit that you'll get on your call. But basically what this allows you to do, this strategy allows you to say, okay, okay, I'm going to take what I've got right here. I'm going to minimize my loss or take a little bit of a gain. I'm, it looks like everything's heading upwards, but I'm not sure, and I want to make sure that I, you know, stay in this uh, credit spread, um, but I want protection. If it goes up here and it turns around, it comes down. All this is delta neutral. So if if it if it goes with you <coughs> on the credit spread, it's going to go against you on the put. 
So it's a, it's a net zero. It's a, it's a neutral position. This is one thing that I teach my members. This is one way that 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 I save credit spreads from a large loss. These protective puts or calls uh, are wonderful tools to put on a trade to allow good good night's sleep and you don't have to worry about the trade. You manage the trade using the protective puts and calls. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you'd like to join me as a member, please go to the, my website, www.optionsaffinity.com. I have been trading credit spreads for a long time. I've been a professional trader for greater than four decades. I know how to do this. This is how I've made my money. This is how I continue to bring in money month after month. Credit spreads are the best trade that a retail investor can make. You don't have to be right on the direction. It can go it, it can go with you, it can go sideways or it can go against you a little bit. The credit spread gives you three ways of winning. Whereas with a direct option, which 95% of all people lose money on option trading, you have to not only know the direction, but it has to go there quickly, okay? Credit spreads are the conservative way to go for a retail investor to bring in monthly income consistently. <clears throat> I hope you'll join me, www.optionsinfinity.com. You might also want to look at, I've got a myriad of videos available on my YouTube channel. Just click on the, the, the green circle with the D on it. You'll become a member and anytime I put on a new video, uh, you'll see it. You'll also have access to all the videos I now have. Like I said, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope this has been education for you. I love to see people succeed in a very difficult market, and that is the stock market and options. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.